One. Two. Three. Go. Every summer in Washington, D.C., boys build their own racing cars and enter them in the local soapbox derby. I entered last year, but I didn't win. So I decided to build a new car and enter again this year. My name is Clarence Carter, Jr., but my friends call me C. I came into the lumber yard. I was finding the kind of wood I needed for my floorboard. I wanted it not too heavy, but heavy enough to carry the car. It couldn't be a real expensive type of wood because I only had $20 to spend on the whole car. He suggested a piece of pine. He showed me the first piece of wood. The grain was a little rough. I said I had to turn it down in hopes that I might get a better piece. And he did show me a better piece of wood. So I got that piece for my floorboard. A friend of mine named Gregory Wilson entered the race. He didn't enter last year, but he entered this year. He's always heckling me. Like most boys, I love my mother. I don't like it when she calls me to do something and I've already started on something else. But uh, she called me for choir rehearsal, so I had to go. sing all that well. Mr. Shaw, I guess he thinks that I sing well enough to stay in the choir. Well, sometimes I get bored at choir rehearsal. You sing songs and you sing them over and over again. And every now and then I sneak a look at uh, the beams in the church and they sort of reminded me of the support to my racer. Because they curve around the top and then come straight down on the side. I had to make sure Mr. Shaw wasn't watching. <laughs> yeah, he sees all. He gets a little mad when we don't sing like we're supposed to be singing. He raises his voice. He yells. But frankly, I don't like it. I like to get out of choir rehearsal. I had trouble with the steering mechanism. I couldn't figure out which way to wind the wire around the steering shaft so the car would turn the same way that I turned the wheel. You have to figure out this by a trial and error method. My father, he's a chemist, and he works up at Howard University. He uses that method. I've thought about working as a uh, chemist when I grow up. It seems strange to me how that you can take two things and put them together and come out with something completely different from what you originally had, such as a common table salt. You put sodium, which can be a very dangerous chemical, and chlorine, which is a poisonous gas, and you put those two together, and you come out with regular table salt. Now, I like this kind of work. When I go into the service, I plan to become a paratrooper. I've always wondered how it would feel, just falling through space. I actually never even been up in an airplane yet. Because of my height, the brakes have to be made a certain way. When I get in, I have to have room to stretch my legs. 
time of inspection was drawing closer. I was excited about finishing the car, knowing that I designed the car and built it. It gives you some feeling of pride. The year before, when I went up for inspection, I had trouble. Various things that were wrong, and inspectors checked the car. And they sent me back, and I had to make corrections on it. The inspection was held at a high school gymnasium. Some of those cars had uh, pretty good designs, and the competition would be pretty stiff. The inspector seemed like he was giving them a good going over. Some of the cars didn't pass. They had to be taken back and worked on. I wondered how tough they would be on me. I didn't know for sure if I was going to pass. Well, here it goes. And that steering mechanism, I had had trouble with it before. And the steering system it seemed to be a little bit loose. And let that go. He wanted me to test up my brakes. I mashed on the brakes. Well, I finally passed. The day before the race, I decided to go down to the track, see how it was laid out. It was hot. Just like it was the day and I raced the year before. The track didn't seem as long this year. Stands quiet. Tomorrow they'd be filled with people and cheering and yelling. And cars would be at the top of the hill. If I won the national race, I get $7,500 scholarship to any college that I want to go to. I would be the one to win. Two hundred or more boys in the race, and they come from all over Washington, nearby Maryland, Virginia. The Soapbox Derby officials keep the cars at the Coolidge High School Gymnasium, so the cars can't be altered, and then they deliver all the cars in a truck. When they take your car off, you worried about them being careful with your car. You, you don't want them to damage the steering system or the brakes. The other boys had some pretty good racers. They looked like they'd be pretty fast. I had to pop up my car so that the wheels wouldn't get flat. I got real tense when they started lining up the cars. I wasn't in the first race. Greg was in the first. Attorney General Kennedy started the race. They're racing the system of heat, and the winner from each heat of three cars comes back and races again. One, two, three. I don't know about the other guys, but when I get on the ramp, I'm 
no longer nervous because I'm too busy concentrating on other things like getting ready to steer my car, getting in a good position One, so that I can get full speed out of the car. When you're going down the hill 35 or 40 miles an hour, the wind's blowing in your face. You hear the people cheering and you're trying to stay down low in the car and steer it straight so that you can get maximum speed. It's an exciting feeling. As we got to the bottom of the hill, my car, I weighed the car on my right, and so he edged past me at the end of the race. So I finished in third place. My time was 30 seconds. And last year's race was about 31 or 32 seconds. I did better this year. I talked with the guy I raced against. He was the one that came in second. I wish I could have had the trophy. He had the better car, and he won. So I congratulated him. I wasn't happy about losing, but um, I had some plans for next year, changing design, practice on my driving more. I'll end up again next year. Maybe I'll win. <laughs>